We're taking a quick look today at Sigma Optimization Pro software, which works in conjunction with the USB dock to adjust the Sigma Global Vision line of lenses. Once you hook up your lens to the dock like a lens cap and connect the USB dock to the computer via USB cable, the lens will show up in the left-hand column. And the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to alert you if there's lens firmware updates. And it is telling us there is updated firmware available for the 35 millimeter F14. So we clicked yes, we want to update this, and we agree that we understand how to update this, meaning don't disconnect the lens, make sure if it's a laptop it's hooked up to a battery source, and then it updates the firmware. Once we are on the latest version of the firmware, we click close, and we can either disconnect the lens or we can go to customization which is where the real excitement begins. The 35mm f1.4, we can adjust the focus settings. This is a prime lens, so the only focal distance we have is the 35mm focal length. But as you can see, we have four micro focus adjustment zones. We can go to plus or minus 20 in these four zones for close, near, middle, and distance focusing. And you can figure out exactly, if you want to adjust these, you can adjust these each individually based on your own testing and your own experimenting for exactly where you need to tweak it for your DSLR. And once you decide where you want each of these focus points to be, we simply click rewrite. Again, we agree that we understand that we need to make sure the lens stays connected and it rewrites the firmware and we have just tweaked our micro focus adjustments on the 35 millimeter f1.4. There you go. And then of course we can go out and rerun our test to make sure this is exactly where we want our firmware updates to be. And if we want to reset to the default, we can go and click on the default button. But do note that you, once you click on the default, you still have to click on rewrite in order to reset the firmware. The default is going to zero everything out, but it is not actually going to rewrite the firmware until you click rewrite. And that is plain and simple how micro focus adjustment works. Now let's take a look at how much more interesting this is when you're on a zoom lens. Here we're going to look at the 17 to 70 f2.8 to f4 DC macro contemporary lens. We check the firmware is up to date, and so we close. Let's go into customization now. Here, when we go to focus settings, this is much more interesting. We have got different focal distances and different focal zones. So, for example, at 70 millimeters, um, if we, at 70 millimeters for close focusing, if we want to fine tune that, we can fine tune this. Here, you can see we have 16 different zones that we can adjust the micro focus in for different focal lengths and different focal distances. And again, this is going to be something that photographers are going to want to experiment with and adjust based on their own experience and their own tests. This is quick and easy, and here you go. We're fine-tuning many of these fields. Some of these we're leaving at zero. And then once we decide where we want to put all of these, it's just a simple matter of clicking rewrite. Agree again. And the firmware is rewritten. We close this out. And again, if we want to default, we can default all the settings, but remember we have to click rewrite in order to have the default settings reapplied. Hit return, go back, and this is it. And we can, we can take a look at all the lenses we've gotten here to check on the firmware. And that, in a nutshell, is the microfocus adjustment settings available through Sigma Optimization Pro. Check back in a few days, and we will have updated this video with some demonstrations with the 120-300 sports lens, including some of the focus limiter, autofocus speed, and other adjustments possible with that lens.